Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Getting Started with Digitising using MySonet Embroidery Software. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the digitising module and showing you how you can use the wizard to create your very own unique embroidery design from a clip art. You might find it useful to watch my earlier series, Mastering the Basics of MySonet Embroidery Software, so you understand the basic principles of the software. If you're a subscriber, or own your own copy of MySonet, or perhaps just want to find out more about digital embroidery software, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel, and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video, I'm on a PC with the Platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you, you'll be able to do on a Mac. The principles are exactly the same. So let's begin by talking a little bit about what digitising is. Digitising is the creation of an embroidery file that can then be transferred to an embroidery machine where it can be stitched out. If you've created the embroidery file then it's going to be totally unique. Let me show you how we can open the digitising module within the MySonet embroidery software. When you usually open the software you get this welcome screen and if you know that you want to do some digitising Pull down the slider and you can see you can open it from here. And when you open the software this way, the design wizard opens up and it'll give you a number of choices and I'll talk you through those in a moment. But there are two other ways you can access the software, so let me show you. The first is if I click on the Create tab, you can see along here, I can open up the um, digitising module from there. Alternatively, on the film strip, if you have already digitised um, a design, can you see I've got this little icon here that says it's a design object? That's telling me I've created this image this embroidery file within the software and it's possible to do a right click and then edit in digitizing and that will open up that design within the embroidery software. But let me go back to the wizard. So we've got some choices here. We could do create an express embroidery and that's what I'm going to do today. Look out for other films in the series where we create an express trace, an express border, or where we load a background image. It's possible, if you've got an existing design, just like I had with the Toucan, to load that, or if you're feeling really imaginative, you can start the design with no picture. But today I'm going to go with the Create an Express Embroidery. And so I'm then going to click Next. So the next screen is kind of asking, where's the image coming from that you want to use? In this case, I'm going to load a picture. And these are some samples that are part of the free downloadable samples from the download page from mysonet.com. And you can see we've got our friend here the uh, toucan and today I'm going to work on the kingfisher so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click OK. It is possible to paste a picture in but please remember that you must have the copyright for any images that you digitize. It might be you have a scanner or camera connected to your computer although please remember you might find you get a better effect using the photo stitch if you're using a photograph. 
It's possible to use the drawing program that's inbuilt to the software to create a new picture or indeed if you need to edit the picture you can go into it from here. But I'm happy with this Kingfisher so I'm then going to go next. If I needed to I could crop the picture down but I'm not going to do that. I could rotate it, I could um, skew it, I can change the aspect ratio and if I have do, done any of those I could then save it but again I don't need to do that. This screen is saying well how big would you like your embroidery and I'm going to do fit design to hoop and I am working with the 260 by 200 hoop if I wanted to I could change my hoop and it's also possible to enter my design size by clicking this radio button and then putting my size in here but again I'm not going to do that I'm going to click next now this screen the software is beginning to make some choices for me I'm not going to want to stitch out this pale uh, purple background because that's going to use up a lot of thread the embroidery would be very hard and dense so I've actually taken that out the automatically remove background color if I wanted it in I could uncheck that and if you need to if for instance if his legs had actually been joined up there might have been a little spot of uh, uh, mauve still in there and you can check that bottom remove all background colors if you need to um, uh, remove all bits like that but I'm happy with this and then I'm going to click next and this technique tends to work best with very clear images um, sort of clip arts cartoon style let's talk about what's going on here there's some zoom features in here if I wanted to take a closer look I'm not going to do that the fabric advisor helps you for instance um, uh, the software will slightly adapt how it digitizes if you're working on say um, a, a, um, a fabric like knit rather than woven which would um, have stretch in it but I'm going to leave that with woven if you're doing a lot of fill patterns you might want to check design underlay and the preferred stitch type is basically kind of how much satin to how much um, uh, fill so for instance if I click refresh preview I don't know if you can see his legs have actually come in as lines of satin we've got some satin up here but in actual fact and that's just about personal taste I'm going to go back to fill because I quite like how that looks and there will be a film in the series where I'm going to talk in detail it's going to be a uh, it's a whole film about satin uh, stitches um, okay but at this point I'm then going to click finish and here is my embroidery design it is ready for me to either click and do uh, send to my sonet or I can go file and export and export it in uh, onto a USB stick in all the main file formats for my embroidery machine so how easy was that to create a unique embroidery if you ever want to have a closer look at your embroidery click on your live view button up here and you can see that's giving me a preview of how that's going to look how easy was that how good was the software in terms of taking that nice crisp clip art image and turning it into an embroidery file if you found this a useful film please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can help you really get started with digitizing using the MySonet embroidery software. Happy sewing!